So I truly feel like, you know, there's no limit to like the creativity that God placed inside you. And I want to be one of those people that, that can show that God can still use you and he can still use you, whether he's using you through the music, whether he's using you through movies, uh, whether he's using you through modeling or fashion, being able to represent yourself. Because at the end of the day, when you walk out the porch, you're your own advertising. Yeah, I got a Bible in my bag. I let her open it up. I got his blood on me, cover me lovingly, looking like I'd have been deep in the cut. Play with that smoke of that fire. Yeah, I got a jack, where got me gassed up. Yeah, praying in spirit, he hearing you know that I ask. Brand new book. Brand new book. Mr. Da Vinci, how are you doing today? Doing good. Doing good. All right, bet, man. Uh, so I have a couple questions here. Don't overthink. Just let it. Let your mind be, man. Just tell me the truth and the truth only. You know what I'm saying? All right. So first question: Who is Lorenzo Da Vinci? What is that? So first off, I'm Lorenzo Hart, better known as Lorenzo Da Vinci, from a very small town called Milan, Tennessee. And uh, pretty much Renzo Da Vinci, man, it's actually a multimedia and franchise brand. And also, it's also a media collection of film, literature, and fashion. And uh, yeah, I just pretty much uh, wanted to just create something that was gonna be able to um, be different from a lot of different brands, a lot of different things. So it's a whole collection. Yeah, pretty much. That's what's up, man. So you model too? Yeah, model. Most model definitely. everything, all that, all creative, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, okay. So, uh, second question, man. So, um, what is the or origin, the or origin of the of the name Da Vinci, Renzo Da Vinci? What inspired you to create that name? Um, so it actually first it started out with Lorenzo Hart Studios. Uh, me just having a very small vision of wanting to have a physical place where people can actually network, a, a place where people can uh, show their short films, like other directors, uh, show off all their feature films, short films, um, people like from different aspects of different creators, from models, being able to network with the actors, the people who do makeup. Um, a lot of times, uh, people don't see the inside of the of the direction of, of media and everything. They don't they don't see the aspect of how it's actually made. They don't see like how uh, the makeup artist has to uh, find the right people to do makeup. They don't see where the director has to meet the right the right person to sit you know sit the scene. So when you bring all these people together and all these creators in uh, in one room, you have nothing but like talent. You have pretty much you have opportunity of job. So it's a whole connection. A whole connection. You, you, you're the connection to like all the people, all connection. creators. Yes, it's pretty much anybody can do it. Anybody who's a director or whatever, like pretty much we do it ourselves. We do it pretty much, um, whether it be cast and call, but thanks to uh, social media, we have something called Facebook, um, Instagram, we have uh, Facebook groups, um, you have different aspects of uh, different sites on, on the internet that we have today uh, in the time that we're in. You don't necessarily have to go to a physical building or whatever, but you can actually do um, do something where you can actually bring people together and network and be able to um, create opportunities for other people. Cool, man. So, next question. Uh, what inspired you? What inspired you to become a creator? Man, first off, I mean, man, God has been the biggest inspiration. Like, just even reading His Word alone, like being able to um, use, he, being able to use His Word, like hearing God use His Word, saying that He created the world, world, and in a certain amount of days, like it was just, it's just mind blowing. Like God is the number one masterpiece. Like He's the one that's directing our lives every day. He's the director and author of our life. 
And uh, I just truly felt like everything that God created, like he's even using us to be able to, um, be able to create things and be able to express ourselves, you know, through that, okay. through so creativity. You, so you mentioned uh, God being the author of your life. Uh, that's one of the inspirations. Because you, you, earlier you told me that you're an author as well, right? Yeah, yeah. And also, too, um, to add on to that, um, Leonardo da Vinci was also uh, one of the greatest uh, painters. Uh, he also created the Lord's Supper, and a lot of his paintings were very spiritual, and uh, he was an inventor. Um, he also dabbled into a little bit of music and stuff like that, so I truly feel like, you know, there's no limit to, like, the creativity that God placed inside you, and I want to be one of those people that, that can show that God can still use you, and he can still use you, whether he's using you through the music. Jesus, he coming, sound the trumpets like a parade. They think it's a game, demons play with a mind, but you know this ain't no charade. I'm breaking these chains when I pray. My mind was stuck in the cage, stuck in the matrix. Jesus, my savior, only way we can escape. Da Vinci, I'm breaking the code. Follow the signs, he paving the way. They hating on Jesus, people so evil, never get out of the way. Whether he's using you through movies. All these are natural reactions of spiritual manifestations. This is designed to take you someplace you need to go. Lorenzo! 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 What? I need you to work for me tomorrow. You know what? I quit. Uh, whether he's using you through modeling or fashion, being able to represent yourself because at the end of the day, when you walk out the porch, you're your own advertisement at the end of the day. Mm, that is, uh, that's good, man. That's a good uh, answer. Um, very heartfelt. And uh, finally, man, last question. If you could give uh, advice to anybody, what, what what is that one advice that you can give uh, another, another creator to, man? Man, the only advice I would say is never give up. Continue to have faith. Continue to walk through that storm. Even when it's starting to get worse, continue to drive through that storm no matter what, because on the other side, it's gonna be sunny and things are gonna shine. And as you continue to drive through more and more storms, God is gonna continue to grow you. He's gonna continue to bless you and continue to pour so many great things in your life. So anybody who, who has a, a dream or a talent or a skill, just keep doing it. You may not be exactly where you wanna be, but God is gonna continue to push you. He's going to continue to be there. He's going to put people in your life that you never think that you'll ever meet in your life. And he's going to definitely uh, pull you out of some of the worst situations that you've ever been through. So just trust him. All right. Um, I think that's about it, man. Uh, thank you so much for for being here. I appreciate you so much, man. You, you're, doing, you're doing a lot for the people, man. Uh, keep God first, brother, and uh, I appreciate you. Oh, definitely. He paved the way like the light at the end of a cave. We rap in the kingdom. But Christ, you know I'm a slave. Holy Spirit, feel me, be on me while I'm rocking my goblet. Like, Better than expected, money. Y'all looking for the sauce. And then I had to put my God in it. I'm really hard. Word. And you know I bring the pain. Word. Ain't got time for giving up. Word. So I gotta bring that flame. Word. Never thought that I would Word. end up being called somebody's Word. hero. Believe it when I tell you, I don't settle for no zero.